Welcome to the world. A world ruled by adults. A world where kids are forced to take naps, allowed only limited time to play video games, and are marched off to schools to learn the grown-ups version of history. A world where every precious moment of our free time is replaced by homework and piano lessons. Where our dinner plates are piled high with horrible, shriveled, slimy green vegetables. But there is a group of kids who have stood up to say no. A group committed to battling the forces of adulthood and restoring freedom to kids everywhere. Recruited from the best and brightest kids around the globe. All are under the age of 13 and operating under the direction of our global command center on the surface of the moon. We are the kids next door. I'm impressed, number two. You actually built a virtual mission simulator. I made it number one size fits all. <laughs> hey, no fair! You're cheating, number four. No, I'm not, number three. I just, bam, did one of my new special moves. Watch me hit the turbo button and really... Wow! Your special move just turned off the game. Whoops. I must have hit the power button by accident. Move over, you guys. It's time for number five to show you just how special a move can be. What? Oh, that's you, you cheater! <laughs> that was funny! Do it again, do it again! <laughs> just like your sister, sneaking around like that. Cree. Man, even when she's sneaking around, she's so... Not on our side, number two. Need I remind you that while Cree once used to be a Kids Next Door operative, she is now a teenager and our sworn enemy? Yeah, yeah, my sister may have taught me a few things, but that doesn't change the fact that I just whooped your butt, number four. Okay, I'm ready. Someone hand me a controller, and I'll show you how a real Kids Next Door operative trains for a mission. <laughs> <laughs> wow, these graphics are amazing, and the sound effects just like the... Toiletator! Exactly! By single-handedly flushing the kids next door, I'll become the most famousest villain ever! There'll be interviews, book deals, direct-to-video movies! Number one, the Toilinator is in the treehouse! Well, of course he is, number five. How better to start my training than with a simple test of my skills against a pathetic villain like the Toilinator? <laughs> this should be fun. <laughs> with these terrifying toilets, this treehouse will be flooded with raw sewage in no time! Oh, I love the smell of sewage in the morning! Man. Thought number two used too much paper. <laughs> Get it? Number two uses too much toilet paper. <laughs> Number one, if you think some fancy helmet is going to save you from the flush tabulous wrath of the Toilinator, you are soggily mistaken. <laughs> Kids next door, operating instructions. Kids next door operatives, special move, lock on. You don't have a chance against my toilet paper grenades, number one! <laughs> I recycled the paper myself! Kids next door collectible item, health.
Kids next door operating instructions checkpoint. So, my toilet paper grenades aren't enough to wipe you out, are they? Well, let's see how you handle my new and improved two-ply wrist rolls. <laughs> Kids next door collectible item power shot. Mustard? <laughs> My toilet paper is more absorbent than that, number one! Toilets will be fully installed and plugged to the rim with industrial strength toilet paper! Clogging toilets with toilet paper to attack us? Of course, that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Oh, yeah? You'll see! Even jiggling the handle won't stop the overwhelming overflow of raw, stinky sewage! Soon the kids next door tree house will become the kids next door outhouse! <laughs> How typical. Kids next door mission update. Ah, revved up and ready for action. Ooh, look at that. The hit effects on my musket. Just you wait, number one. With a few more of my toilets installed. You'll get to meet my new unplushable. I really can't wait to face some better opponents in this simulation, number two. Well now, number two, after that training session, I think I'm ready for more of a challenge. Is there a super insane difficulty setting instead of super lame? What? I'm a super villain! Facing me should be a super challenge, right? Uh, anybody? Realistic to the end. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if I threw this simulated toiletator out the window. Hey! What are you? Kids next door mission update. Kids next door mission update. Kids next door top secret content unlocked. Number one. Yeah, thanks. But why didn't you guys tell me the Toilinator was actually attacking the treehouse? Ah, uh, poor number one. After the battle, Boo Boo Rainbow Monkey will make it better. Yeah, stop it, stop it. I'm fine. Get that thing away from me. Attention, Sector 5. This is number 86. While you slackers have been lounging around doing nothing all day, there's been an incident at Kids Next Door Arctic Base. What kind of incident? The kind of incident where all of the kids next door's greatest villains have escaped from our maximum security prison. I'd get the real sector to help out, but unfortunately, everyone else is at the beach! I told you we should have went to the beach today. So, it's up to you to recapture the villains and take them to our extra super triple maximum security prison on the dark side of the moon. An extra super triple maximum security prison? What a perfect place to cheer up those meanies! So what are you dopes standing around for? Grandma Stefan has taken over the Sprinkle Puff Donut Shop and is filling the donuts with spinach! Get over there and haul her cholesterol clogged butt up to the moon base and step on it! Number 86, out. Spinach filled donuts? Did I happen to mention that number five is allergic to growth? We've got to stop her. Right, I'll go after Grandma Stuffum. Numbers two, three, and five. Spread out to see if you can track down any of the other escaped villains. Hey, what about me? 
We need you to stay here and defend the treehouse in case any of those villains try a sneak attack. What? But... Don't wait up for us, homebody. And you might want to brush up on some of those special video game moves while we're gone. The Sprinkle Puff Donut Shop. Of all the sacred sugar-coated places Grandma Stuffum could violate. Oh, soon number one, skinny children around the world will have my delightful liver and spinach pastry cream dripping down their chins and fingers covered in delicious anchovy sprinkles. Blech, not on my watch, Stuffum. Spinach, liver, olives. I'm glad number two isn't here to see this. Why on earth would Grandma Stuffer need an oven that size? Oh, ho, 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 skinny boy. Why eat so many tiny donuts? when just one of my fantastic mega donuts can plump you up all so nicely. You'll never get away with this, Grandma Stuffum. Oh, but I will, and my nutritious spinach soldiers will see to it that you do not interfere. <laughs> Kids Next Door Operatives Special Move Ledge Grab. Kids Next Door Operatives Special Move Grappling.
Grandma Stuffem, I will never allow you to deny kids the sugary sweet taste of sprinkle puff donuts. You're going back to prison where you'll never touch so much as a spatula again! Oh, you sweet little boy. You'll never make it out of my oven uncooked! These donuts are making a staircase so I can escape this liver-loving inferno. Grandma, your kitchen's about to be closed. I'm beginning to see a pattern here, and it's that everything in this place is gigantic. Now, how do I get up to those platforms? Kids next door, operating instructions. Spare part.
donut batter. Why, this factory can pump out enough spinach and liver donuts to force feed all the kids in the world. Oh, Grandma, I had a dream last night about eating a luscious gorilla gizzard dinner, complete with cockroach stuffing, rotten sweet potatoes, and moose brain gravy. Really? Actually, no. was too close. Today is time. So, 
haven't had enough of Grandma's cooking yet, I see. Stuff it, stuff em. It's time to trade in your oven mitts for handcuffs. Oh, ho, 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 ho. But I'm afraid you haven't cleaned your plate yet, my skinny scarecrow. Not to worry. My chunk wagon has just this thing to help you children put some meat on your bones. <gasps> Looks like I should have ordered out to eat. If my estimates are correct, the concentrated sugary sweetness found in that jelly may be just what I need to burn through the chunk wagon's protective shield. Which must operate their injector mechanism. So much for your protective shield, Grandma Stuffem. I hope you didn't have any dinner plans, Stuff'em, because I think you're gonna be a little lit. Let's go! Come in.
number one. Number one! I, uh, really, really need to use the bathroom, but... Well, you don't need my permission, number four. I know! It's just that all the toilets are clogged with... Ah, oh, gross! Number four! What did I tell you about trying to keep it in the bowl? No, no, you don't understand. I haven't even gone yet! But there's this globby green stuff all over the treehouse. In fact, it looks like someone blew their nose all over your bed, number one. Hmm, snot everywhere. Sounds to me like the uncommonly gross work of the common cold. Break out the vitamin C weapons and wait for backup, number four. Attention, kids next door. This is a super double coat blurbleberry. The treehouse is under attack. Copy that. Number five is on the way. All right, Stuffem. Lunchtime's over. You're coming with me.